Hello, welcome back to Wartels. So, after doing all of that exploration, I feel like doing something fun. So, welcome to the Wartels that is fun, which is doing the arena in the tomb. The arena is over here, the tomb is over there. The boss is over there, but I, st feel I still have a little bit of the map to explore. So, we'll do that after we finish exploring. So, the tomb. This will either be fun or it will be boring. I guess it will be boring if I was to judge it. Judge it. Okay, get ready to fight a lot of rats. Where is my mobile phone? I need my mobile phone for this. Yeah, have it over here. Looks like I'm ready to do a dungeon. Nice, this looks a lot more creepy than I was expecting. Admiral and Lil. No, an admiral wouldn't have an axe as a weapon. You'd have a more gracious weapon. No, I'm still getting flashback from that puzzle, that maze tomb. There it is, red triangle. I guess I can remember this one. This is easy. That's it. There's nothing else in the room except... Dave and the boat. Great room. Ornate chest. Solve is the great solvonizer. My, oh my. Luckily for you, I, Solvius, you are right, my good fellow. Ta da! The Cover the rune chief. So, this is supposed to be like a hatchet or a P or how do you even. Ah, good thing they introduced Solvinius. He's our best companion. Our best companion that helps us solve puzzles. Oh, this is also red over here. Nice. Uh, activate the lever. I guess it will fill it up with water. Yes. So I guess that means you have to go back to the entrance. Like we have. Oh wow! Look at that. Two hundred and eight. Let's do a little save over here because I have a bad feeling about this. Or maybe it's just a shit for the dungeon where we just have to go for fourteen. <laughs> Funny enough, I still... Yeah, this still works. Oh, there's a thrown torch over there to help us with some light and the tomb over there. Well, this is not so bad then. Just have to put up my defenses over here. And even if they attack us from the other sides, we'll still have a lot of... A lot of damage potential. Hello? Somehow everything is waiting for us on this side, I don't like it. Oh, what? Okay, so they changed this. You really need to see what's happening now. <laughs> okay, that was, that was pretty funny. We like fire. Oh, 
Why do you not kill the rats? I guess we killed everyone in the first turn of combat, so we won. Oh, somehow I had the key. By the way, when I'm scrolling through my inventory like this, it drops 10 to 15 FPS, which is super annoying, as you can imagine. Precious item and the Admiral Codex Chapter 1. That I have to collect codexes, I thought I would save, but no, I'm not. Okay, so we cannot enter this because of the mechanism. All right. If we have two words from here, and whatever that other one was. Hmm, the basin is empty. Could have guessed it's a puzzle based on water. Sketches. Oh, it it's blueprint sketches. Wait. Oh, what? Oh. What was this a skill or Oh it stretches, blueprint stretches. Not sketches, stretches. That's massive, that reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue stacks. Wait, what? Does that? Uh, anyway, I don't, I don't want to think about it, but from what I can understand, we troop, troops fatigue stacks. I don't know what fatigue stack is, but I'll just assume it means we we run out of stamina 20% slower, so we can move 20% more or something, I don't know. Yeah, stamina works differently on the seas. I could think I found that one. Why, why is it so weirdly written down? Because, again, this isn't made by a small poly studio, I keep saying this, but I'm beginning to believe it more and more, because developers didn't use something like this. They never use words like this to explain what something does. I don't understand why we need three companions. That blood. That mechanism is working now. Um, okay, let's go to the left as well. Dark tooth. I think this is a very important thing. That's the ornate key. We just burn the seaweed off of this thing. Okay, I'm gonna explore further, but before we do that, we have to go back. The right over here, uh, exactly as I expected it to be. Uh, sure, we'll explore that in a moment. Build a blueprint. Eh? Oh, we we are working on water. That's amazing. The second codex. Advanced it is not bad either as a reward.
Okay, I think we're ready to go back. Now we can go forward because we have found all of the stuff we needed. Probably it will be another attack over here, but no, in the in the next room because we already had. Oh, okay. Why is it not? Anyway, this DLC is something else. I need something else. But you cannot, you can't really see where the enemy is because they're usually in a different direc direction than when you start them. Yeah, don't question it, just accept it for what it is. Oh, to the left. That was unexpected. I just throw the torches far away, I say. Yeah, it seems like they're all will come from the same from the same direction now. Huh, that's weird. Okay, this will be quite amusing, so go for the fire as well, and wait for them here. He didn't step to the fire, I guess. He didn't have enough movement points for that. Wait, so where are all of the big guys? Oh, there they are, the creepers. Well, don't hit me, you'll regret it. I'll, I always try to warn them not to hit me, but they never listen. Fine, let's rest in the ballista room. Doesn't have a ballista. I need to get some more, more supplies, but I'm too lazy to do that. Danger. Oh, we are in danger, of course. Man, the oh, uh, so annoying. Well, you have to rest in a dungeon. You cannot just do it without resting because it seems like this one was particularly rough on our, on our stamina. I assume this works very well. Yeah, it works. Next. Oh, so we hit this guy. Oh, that's that's funny. You can hit them even though you cannot see them. Six hundred and sixty-six damage. Okay, that was funny. Ah, I should have dashed back. It's okay. And I think we have only one more to kill. That might be the last one. Was the last one? Okay. Plenty of red burgers to go around now. I like how our camp has those weird things now.
point of this ballista room over here just for show and tell i guess yeah it's just for show and tell <laughs> they wanted to raise the same assets as on the ship better save over here i have a bad feeling about this He can catch it. Okay, so that was the golden key and the ornate key we just found. Does it say enter? Oh, we can go there as well. Yeah, okay, that worked. So I, I guess I confused it a little, little bit. I confused it a little bit, but not too much. I still have to find the last Alex. Then I have to find the sepulchre. Oh no. Same again. Uh, I'll skip this one. Or will I? I'll just leave it. It's, if it's in the game, I'll leave it. That was crunchy. Look at the poor things. Yeah, this archer is a monster. He can see everything, even if it's dark or bright. If it's dark or bright, right? Even if it's dark or well lit. Yeah, that sounds better. Didn't actually use this, did I? the percent of dark as in dark room right room I guess next that guy is the rat slayer oh so there are some of them over here as well yeah many tried but none of them succeeded Why are you so far away, little one? Okay. Let's just admit that if I had played with more than four people, this would have been a nightmare. Clear with. The final word you're supposed to get free words and free codexes out of every dungeon. Yeah, I just break his tomb. Doesn't matter why. I'm supposed to get a cool weapon and the last codex. Yeah, we got them. Treasure of the Ancients. I'm curious about the sepulchre now. Yes. I guess you have to find it by reading all of the stuff. I don't remember how this was done. I guess we have all of the words we need anyway. Let's remove that. Treasure of the Ancients. I'm really curious what this is. I really dislike this minigame. Okay, that uh, they making. Okay, this is this is annoying. They made it harder by kind of giving me random numbers.
Yeah, there. There's no group. That's the annoying part. So, I guess it just to just has to be by chance. Okay, the first two and the last. Oh wait, why why did zero? What was zero? This and this with this. Okay, so this is one. And that's not one either. Have the umbrella and This is what confuses me because we start with this and then have the umbrella and then have the A. <sighs> Code cracker. I guess it's not the umbrella, is this, so it has to be the D. Harder than I imagine. And that's one! That's one! Oh, it's the same as that one. It is, this is brutal. I don't know why they made it so annoying. Oh, so that's one of them. That doesn't help. Okay, so... This is one. It's like I'm looking at child drawings and trying to match them. This is crazy stupid that they make you do it like this. Hmm. I have completely lost my thought in this one. So if it's that and that and that, that's total free. So if we have this, that's two. But that's definitely one of them. That will be one of them as well. Okay, so this... And that and last. Nice. Oh, thank you game, you are very kind. It will be much easier now. Okay, so none of the last three is there, so I assume it's that and that. Yeah, that was so much easier. Okay, so we have done it, and as you can see, the weapon is Edil's Punishment. Isn't it that a bit weak? Hold on, let's get it better. Feels a little weak compared to what the other things have. So 60, well I guess that's a big bonus. Coordinates in the area and gains one forever for each hit. So if you hit two enemies that's 20% more damage. Which I guess it's okay but it's only 70% of strength damage and the strength is only 60. Why are you so upset? But if you compare it with other weapons, as you can see, it's not so good. 53 for a... Well, I guess it's one level above it, since that's 12, but I don't know. It just doesn't look impressive to me. The one-handed weapon. No, it's a two-handed weapon. Oh, 